Hi. <laughs> hey, story time. It's gonna be about how I probably almost died in the worst roommates. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Having the worst roommates ever. I actually seen you do my makeup last video was crap. <laughs> So I knew her since elementary school, like I think fifth grade, when we first moved to Colorado. So the reason I moved in with them was because I went through a really bad breakup. He he loves my baby. I had to move in with them, and it was just a really low, very low point in my life. <laughs> the very first thing that got to me was how dirty they were, and I mean like. They were kind of hoarders where they wouldn't get rid of They wouldn't get rid of things. That needed to be thrown away and stuff and like, I don't know, like when you get a new place, you should like, you know, make it your own, you know, clean it up. They didn't. They just, mm. Cause apparently he got the house from his grandpa and his grandpa was like some crazy dude or whatever. The place just looked like crap and like, there was just stuff everywhere and I don't even know. Oh my God. And then I remember like in my head, I was like, oh, like this really is the worst guy she's ever been with because like, she did a lot of bad guys when we were growing up. Like, they were just always mad. I don't know. She's just one of those really easy people or something. But. <laughs> I was just like, dang, like, you're really with this dude and you're living like this? Like, when you know someone and you move in with them, you're like, or you just see how they're living and it's not how you expected. Like, oh my God. Honestly, I feel like I should do my eyebrows first. I haven't worn foundation in like a uh, really, really long time, so I honestly don't know what I'm doing. He would look at me really creepy, and I don't mean just like a little glance or anything like that. He'd... I don't even know. It's just he'd be sitting there staring sometimes. Or like, you know, you just feel them staring at you and you would look at, nah, I, I just don't even like remembering that. He made comments on my outfit to like, I don't know, I'd just be wearing something I would think that's semi-normal, I guess. And he'd be like, tell me where you got that because I want my girlfriend to be wearing it. Oh, that looks real nice or that makes your boobs pop out. Just weird stuff. It was just weird. Really weird. Like, to me, honestly, he would just say things. You shouldn't and never say, especially when you have a girlfriend, who also <laughs> turned out to be one of my best friends, but whatever. I just kept trying to ignore it, like, to not, or say anything, like, I don't know, super offensive to her. He'd probably go cry in a corner or something like that. But I'd also try to tell her in, like, a nice way of the really stupid shit he would say or like do that I found to be very creepy but she literally like didn't care she'd be like oh Sierra that's uh, like you're just that's nothing it's whatever or he was just drunk or I think you just took it in the wrong way I wouldn't take it like that or I don't just whatever you know she wasn't mom whatever you want to call it Ew. And like he would treat her like me. And for some reason in front of me it'd be like really bad. I don't, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it'd be really weird. He would just say really gross things or he would say it in like a baby voice. But it'd be really creepy coming from him. Like, not cute at all. <laughs> I'm like, oh, bye. Like, especially when he would drink alcohol. He'd get even more weird, which if you can't handle liquor, you shouldn't be drinking at all. Like, I'm just gonna put that out there, but whatever, each their own way. And he would say I needed to teach her how to cook when I would literally be making like the simplest things. Like macaroni and hot dog, kielbasa and potatoes, or like chicken alfredo. Spaghetti with garlic bread, or like I used to make like garlic bread pizzas, like mini pizza things, which fire. Speaking of which, I remember when I made... <laughs> I remember I made kielbasa and potatoes. And I left maybe two petty 
little bites. And I mean like petty little bites. I ended up leaving it out for literally like five hours. No joke for five hours and it was like by the sink. Mm -hmm. He had come back or something and I was watching TV in the living room. Like he just picked it up and he was like, are you done with this? And I thought he was just being petty that I left it out because I always complain about how dirty everything is. So I was like, yeah, like I'm done, whatever. So I thought he was gonna put it in the sink. No, he literally ate it. I I swear to God, he ate it. It would, I can't even imagine, like cold, five hours sitting, like back, to, I don't know if you ever took a cooking class with the bacteria growth, like that's just seriously so disgusting. I was so fucking disgusted. I was so grossed out for real. And then I remember one time, back to the girl I was best friends with, but one time I had had her watch the movie The Choice because I was a, still am, Nicholas Sparks fan, so I got the movies and the books all the time. So I'd, move, I'd read the book and then I'd watch the movie. You know, the reason I'm mentioning this is because it's a big key part in this part of the story and why everything like ended and I seriously got the hell out of there and I don't know, hit the road. It's literally about like, she's been dating this doctor guy for a really long time, blah, blah, and she meets this new guy who's a vet. Feels like she has to all of a sudden choose between them even though she was dating that one guy, her family and neighbor looking towards getting married. She ends up choosing the other guy. So anyways, the girl ended up hitting up this one guy that she used to talk to or whatever, and I don't know, I guess started flirting with him or something. I honestly can't tell you how it really started between them. But she comes to me as a best friend. She asked me like straight up, she was like, do you think it's wrong that I'm messaging him and like all this blah blah, trying to act like it's not gonna go anywhere and all this stuff. And I told her straight up like, yeah, obviously it's wrong. You shouldn't be talking to anybody um, when you're in a relationship, when you're just complaining about your boyfriend doing, you know, whatever, whatever he's doing. I kept hanging out with him and like flirting with him, doing whatever it is she was doing. And then they actually started hanging out. Like she was leaving the house she had with her boyfriend to go hang out with some other guy. <laughs> I don't know, do all this crap and leave me there with the weirdo. Like who does that? You left your best friend and like instead of hanging out with me or anything, she would always just like go do something else or like, I don't know, she would just act really strange, honestly, in my opinion. She just kept ignoring me, ignoring me. Like I would sit there and blow up her phone, asking her where she was and you know, she was gonna come back that night, all this crap, cause like, I didn't wanna be there alone with the weirdo, what the hell? Like, oh, come in. Time she came back and I confronted her about it, like straight up, I was like, dude. Like, what are you doing? Why are you sleeping around with your boyfriend? Why are you doing all this crap when you have a house here? And like all this, like if you're gonna do this, you need to be straight up with him. And like, why aren't you telling me when I'm your best friend? Like, I'm so confused with what's going on. Like, what are you even doing? Like, you know, like freaking out. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> And then cause like he would sit there and ask me, Questions like, what, do you, what is she doing? Like, where is she at? But I'm there supposed to be the best friend and I don't even know what she's doing or where she's at and all. I could have for the life of me do no, on camera. Even then, I kept trying to like reason with her and get her to see like what she's doing is pretty messed up and but she wouldn't like understand or see the issue with it like at all and i i have no idea what to do anymore like you just can't think stupid i don't know <laughs> and then she just completely disappeared she disappeared for like three days and then she comes back telling me this little love story she apparently had with the guy all this crap and like i'm just astonished and she's telling me how like they slept together and he made her feel so comfortable and all this crap, how she felt so new. Basically just saying that he was all of a sudden the love of her life that has been missing this whole time and yeah, okay. And then she literally disappears again because I got mad at her, I obviously like confronted her all over again, did the whole process, blah, blah, blah. She disappears again. She's all of a sudden like, oh, well, 
I'm moving back in with my mom and I'm in love with him. I'm breaking up with my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you can do what you want. I don't know what you want to do, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, dude, what the hell? Like within not even a week, you're break dumping your boyfriend of like, I don't know, like two years or something stupid. And then all of a sudden you found someone else that you're completely in love with and you're moving back in with your parents and like, okay, you do you. You do you. But once again, she's leaving me with a freaking weirdo by myself. Like, I can't just like jump out. Like, whatever, you know, I didn't have money at the time. I didn't have a car at the time. Like, oh my God, I was so pissed off. I had my cat boo and oh, I started freaking out. Okay, but then thank God, my true one and only best, like, bestest, bestest freaking friends since uh, sixth grade. Like, she's been my ride or die completely. She's never done anything wrong, never done an argument with nothing, whatever. We finally like, Reconnected because I did move states and blah blah and that's we kind of like split ways for a little bit. But anyways, she comes over to spend the night and I'm like telling her all this crazy shit that's been going on. She's just like, dude, like it's always you. It's always you that something stupid's happening to. And I'm like, mm. like mm, whatever you're right, but. <laughs> She's obviously like, dude, like you need to get out, you know. And then the thing that creeped out the most was the fact that. I had mentioned about how he was watching me sleep and I caught him doing that and you know the way he would like look at me sometimes so she's creeped out about that I had fallen asleep on her because I can't remember we had like watched a movie or something talking you know catching up on life blah blah I'm actually falling asleep first and she had told me that she had gone to the bathroom to take a shower and he kept like knocking and you know, like being weird, I don't know. Trying to, like at first he tried to open the door and she said like busy, blah, blah, so then he kept knocking. Like she literally said busy, I didn't go away, but not this weirdo. He kept knocking and bugging her and then finally, so she cut her shower short because obviously she's like, what the fuck, you know? Comes out of the shower and he's like right there. Like. Acting like, you know, it's just normal to be right there and to bug someone in the shower. It was just really weird. She had gone back to the bathroom or something. She comes out and she sees him watching me sleep. She sees him watching me sleep, like straight up, just watching me sleep. So, hell no. And thank God she was actually one of the people that helped me get the hell out of there because it was just one of the creepiest living situations I've ever been in. Definitely one of the top two. I will be doing <laughs> number two on another one which started a whole like Facebook World War III, which I'll get into that. But to finish this little like look that I've been doing that I wasn't even talking about at all because I just decided to do some like Halloween looks. I'm pulling some fake eyelashes. And I have never, mm, I have never worn fake eyelashes. Like, I've tried them once and I messed up really bad. We'll just try this again. <laughs> JK, I couldn't even do that either. But, I'll put the mascara on. And I don't even know. If I glued these on right, like honestly. But we'll see how it looks. But honestly, I really just can't believe she did that, like. Because at the end of the day, it really just pissed me off more than anything, honestly, like. And just who does that to a person you supposedly call to be your best friend? Like, girl, why? She's a damn lie. And I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how to do that outro yet, but thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe. Um, all my info is in the description down below. My Instagram, all that, you know. Give me a follow if you want. You know, if you want. Just if you want. I'm honestly really happy with the look. I mean, it looks really flawless. It's really flawless in any lighting, I mean. <laughs> And I really hope you enjoyed my video, like. Please, please, please subscribe. Pay my bills. I don't know, something, whatever turns out of this, but I love you. I thank you. Leave a comment, you know, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment, leave your feedback. Do you like the look? Do, do you not like the look? I don't know. But please subscribe, please. Bye. And like, oh my god, here's my final look. I hope you guys did enjoy my video, but yeah, thank you so much for the subscribers I do already have. All my info, again, will be down below, but I love you guys so much, and please have a freaking great day, like, <laughs> for real.